<laughs> I'm Sister Lopik Sen. I've been nursing for 40 years and I've been doing permanent night shift for more than 10 years. After my old levels, I tell myself the first job that I'm going to get is a job with uniform so they have to worry what to wear the next day. Hi. Hi. We actually start work at 9pm to 8am. So when we come on, we actually take report from the DSN. After that, we will actually go to the check sensors, see how many empty beds we have and also our staff strength for the night. After that, we will start making our rounds. Every night, I have three nursing officers who cover the wards. During this time, we host a handful. Anytime anybody calls for us, we will have to attend to them. Usually, our first round, we do it very slowly because we have to look at the patients and see that they are comfortable. Some patients who are not sleeping, we ask them why you're not sleeping. So, we really have time to talk to them. We actually play a very important role in the night. We are actually patients advocate. There are patients who can't talk and uh, we are there to make sure that they receive the right treatment. Every night we have around 70 to 80 admissions, so it can be quite busy in the night. We do have regular patients who come very often and when we make our rounds, they will tell us their stories and we become friends. Usually we end our rounds at around something, 3 o'clock, and um, we will usually start our second round around 4 something. We usually end our round at 6 a.m. and there we collate all our statistics. Then um, the DSN will come at 7 and we will pass back to them. Some of the reason people do not like to do night shifts because normally there is a sleeping hour. So some people just can't sleep in the day. So you just can't do night shift. Then uh, some families, especially got young children, they want to stay with the children at night. Most important is the sleeping patterns, I think. So after work, once I get home, I wash up and I sleep. I'm not concerned about whether my clothes are washed or my floors are clean, because nobody's going to scold me if I don't do that. Personally, I feel that nursing is actually not a profession. It's actually a commitment. First, you must have love for the patient. You must have compassion and dedication. You must enjoy what you are doing. Every time when I attend to a patient, and at the end, if the patient will give me a smile, or even a word of thanks, that is good enough. If I could turn back time, I would still choose nothing because I enjoy what I'm actually doing.